Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hello, my little friend. Just a quick reminder, if you want to be in the cat club, talk to your guardian or your parents and make sure that you go to the link down below to become a patron so that you get your first three exclusive Heidi Cherry and Vea stories on the 7th of this month. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Are you ready to lay down and be still and quiet? Try and be as still and quiet as you possibly can. Making no noises, just listening to the story with your eyes open or your eyes closed. Can you do that? Try and take nice deep breaths at the beginning of the story and that will help you to relax your body and put you in a yummy meditation state. There was something big going on at the cat's house. Cherry had been doing some research and decided that the cats needed to get healthy. Way too much pizza, way too much ice cream, way too much of all the bad stuff that's sometimes okay, but it's not okay if that's all that you're eating. If all you ever eat is cake and sweets and chocolate and ice cream and cookies, and all you ever eat for your dinners is chicken nuggets and pizza and maybe lasagna and maybe some kind of pasta. All of those things are okay. Everyone enjoys them. But the cats had been eating only brown food, like brown cookies and brown chicken nuggets. Whatever that was brown, that looked boring on their plates, they hadn't been eating any bright, crunchy, yummy, fresh vegetables. They hadn't been eating any fresh, delicious, juicy, sweet fruit. They just got out of the habit. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were all stood in the kitchen in front of a box. The box had just been delivered. Heidi and Vea had no clue what was inside of the box, but Cherry knew. Cherry decided to make it very exciting and very intriguing and very secretive. And she was going to draw it out for as long as she possibly could. This surprise, whatever it was that was in the box, it was the bestest surprise in the entire world. Like the bestest thing they'd ever seen. Like the bestest, bestest thing that they could ever do to change their bodies, to change their minds, their spirits, to give them a spark in their step and a twinkle in their eye. She announced, Are you ready? said Cherry. Are you ready? Are you ready to have your life completely changed? Vaya said, Hmm, me, me thinks you sound just like that. That guy that we were watching the other day. What was he? What was... Mm. Heidi said, Tony Robbins. Vea said, yeah, him. That really, 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 really tall man. That really, really big man with big hands. Cherry said, yes, indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Yes, you know, this moment... This moment that you have in front of you, this moment that see her right now in front of us, all three of us together, is going to change our world forever and ever and ever and ever. We are never going to be the same. Cherry took a knife and cut open the sellotape and the tape that was on the parcel that had been delivered. She pulled back the flaps. It was a big box. Are you ready? Are you really ready? Are you ready to never go back? Because once the light's been turned on, you never go back. Vaya said, mm, I'm excited. Heidi said, do you mean like the light in the kitchen or do you mean like some other light? Cherry said, good question. Yeah, some other light. Yeah, the light inside of your mind. The light that makes you sparkle and shine. That light that makes you exactly who you are. That light. Very good question, Heidi. Yeah, not the kitchen light. No, this light. She pointed to her head. This light 
is going to shine so bright. You're going to have to wear glasses. And then she pulled out what was inside of the box. Da-da! She said. The cats just looked a little bit baffled. It looked like some kind of mixer or some kind of kitchen gadget. This is our life changer, said Cherry. This right here in my paws is a juicer. A juicer, said Vaya. Mmm, sounds nice, Heidi said. We're going to juice, Cherry said. Yeah. We are. No more cookies. No more ice cream. No more junk food. In this kitchen, we are going to be so healthy, so bright and clean inside that you just can't help but shine. And I've been doing my research and I found out that if you eat, or I should say, if you drink green juice, then you get really, really shiny white eyes and get shiny teeth and you go to the toilet really often and it cleans out your insides like a Drano would clean out a blocked sink and 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 all the nutrients in the green juice make you feel alive and buzzing and full of energy and and anyway yeah we're gonna make a juice we're gonna start juicing green juice every day cats this is gonna be our new identity this my friends is gonna be us us cats we're not normal cats no way Jose no way us cats are going vegan I didn't know what to say. V- vegan? Do you know what vegan is, Cherry? Yeah, I do. Uh, do you know what vegan is, Vaya? Is it like bacon? Said Vaya. No, silly. Vegan is a way of life. Vegan is when you don't eat animals. You don't eat any more meat. You don't eat dairy. You don't eat eggs. You don't eat... Honey, you don't wear leather masks or um, leather shoes or uh, we, 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 don't, we don't have leather handbags. Vegans are very compassionate, caring people and they're very healthy. This is all what I've read on the internet and I've watched loads and loads and loads of YouTube videos and, you know, some of them are a little bit crazy. I must admit, some of them vegans seem a little bit crazy, but some of them are really nice. Some of them, some of them are are like, just like me and you. They're just like us. They're normal, very normal, but they just don't eat meat. And the idea is, if you don't eat meat, then you're saving the cute little bunny rabbits. And you're saving the tunas in the, in the sea. And you're saving the cows, because the cows sometimes, yeah, I'm not going to go into it. But, yeah, we don't drink milk. What, 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 they are said. But what? Me likes cream. Me likes to drink milk every day. You can have alternatives, said Cherry. Don't worry. I've looked into it. There's all different kinds of milk. And it's all made out of different stuff. You can have hemp milk, rice milk. You can have uh, cashew milk. You can have uh, ooh macadamia milk. You can have soy milk. You can have uh, uh, almond milk. You can have all different kinds of milks. And that can have all. We can we can try them all because you know what's what's it matter? We've got the rest of our lives. We don't just have to have one kind of milk. We can try all those different milks and explore and be vegan. And I think if we're vegan, then we might set an example to all our other friends and they might want to be vegan because they might see how happy and healthy we are and how how vibrant our fur looks and how bright our eyes look. And I'll just go on. I could just go on and 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 on with all the advantages of what of what it could be like to be vegan so we're doing it we're starting today we're gonna have vegan cat food there is such a thing it's delivered it's here in this box with the green juicer mixer thingy that i ordered and we're gonna make green juice together right now in this moment are you ready are you ready to make green juice omg i'm so excited i've never been so excited about 
eating something like this. I'm so excited. Right, okay. These are the ingredients. I found this on YouTube and it's a very popular uh, recipe for green juice. Ready? Two lemons. Heidi, can you get the lemons? Heidi went to go and get the lemons. Faya, we need four apples because we're making a lot. Four apples, two lemons. Um, we also need the, the, the spinach, the kale and the cilantro that I got. It's over there in the fridge. Can you get that too, Heidi? Heidi went and got all the greens. Then she come back and she said, this! She showed everybody what looked like a knobbly paw, like an, a knobbly tree root or something. This, my friends, is going to change our world. This, this right here, is called ginger. Ginger is a root. It's like a tree root. It's, it's, but it's magical. It's a superpower. It's a superpower. That means when I've watched all these videos with all these vegans, some of them crazy, like I said, some of them not. Um, they talk about superfoods. Apparently, there's something called cacao. No, that's not right. Cacao. Cacao. Yeah, cacao. And that's what real chocolate's made of. That's a superfood. You can have gorgy berries. They're like these little tiny berries that honestly don't like them. When you chew them, they're really hard and they taste like bogies that's been left out on side after you've picked your nose and you wiped it on side and then you forgot that you were left your bogey on the side. And then it goes really, really crispy. And then you wet it. That's what a goji berry's like. Ugh, don't like those. Anyway, but that's a superfood. Superfoods are things that make you feel super alive. And they make you super healthy. Faya said, um, do they make you a superhero? Cherry said, yeah, yeah, they do. They make you a vegan superhero. Because that's what we're going to be. Anyway, so we've got ginger. We've got spinach. We've got kale. All superfoods. We've got cilantro. Apparently, cilantro. Cilantro. I like to say cilantro. Cilantro, said Cherry, is um one of those vegetables. No, it's not a vegetable. Uh, it's a herb. One of those herbs that when you eat it, it draws out all of the the toxins in your system because we all have toxins Heidi said do you know what toxins are Cherry? Cherry said of course I do they're like monsters in your bloodstream <laughs> yeah it draws out all the monsters Heidi said you mean it's like just like a germ or something that's bad for you that's in in your body. Yeah, that's it. The monsters in your bloodstream. Yeah, it draws them all out. It draws out all the metals. Apparently, you have metals in your body if you're not careful. You can get metals just from the environment and and from like aluminium foil and things like that. Who would have thunk it? Don't know how many times we've put aluminium foil over our lasagna or al aluminium foil over our chicken when we cook a chicken. Yeah, you don't think about it, do you? But apparently it leaves these really bad uh, monsters in your bloodstream and cilantro pulls them out of your bloodstream when you eat them and drink them and then you pee them out and poop them out and then you're absolutely amazing. You're a star, a shiny superhero star that's vegan. Right, let's do it. Apparently, what you do is you push everything through that hole and then that hole down there and that, that, that like case thing down there catches all the juice and then that thing over there, that's like a, a trash case and that c catches all the things that we're not going to drink because you wouldn't think that things had like, you know, when you squashed up kale, what would be left? You'd think it big just kale with a tiny bit wet or something but no this juicing kale and when you juice it all that's left is these fibers these this like it looks like chewed up grass <gasps> there you know sometimes how we eat grass to make ourselves sick and then we chew it up and, and we, we're sick and then when we're sick it you'll have, you'll have like a grass ball <coughs> Yeah, it's like that. You watch everything that comes out. It's going to look like a fur ball, but like a vegetable ball. That's awesome, isn't it? Anyway, yeah. So, let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's do it. The cats all got together and took turns, pushing different things into the juicer, watching the juice come out of one hole 
and the fibrous mass that they didn't eat or, or anything else come out of the other hole. And then they were eventually done. They poured it into three different glasses so they all got equal amounts. Cherry said, cheers! They banged the glasses together and they all had a sip. <coughs> Cherry was being very dramatic. What's wrong, said Heidi. Don't you like it? Yeah, I do. I love it. It tastes the best. It's like green ice cream. Freya said, mm, me doesn't think so. Me, me doesn't think it tastes like ice cream at all. Cherry said, yeah, I know. Just pretend because it's awful. Just pretend. All right. All right, Heidi. All right, Freya. Just pretend. Just pretend that it's green ice cream. She had another mouthful. <laughs> Cherry was pulling faces as if she was going to be sick. Heidi said, Are you going to be sick? Cherry said, No, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's the bestest thing I've ever, 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 ever tasted. It's like better than anything. You can really taste the green. Yeah, you can really taste the green. It tastes very green. It's awful. It's awful. Oh no, what we're going to do? Do you think we made it wrong? Do you think we made it? I was expecting it to taste like strawberry cake, maybe. Or like a really nice chocolate bar with caramel in it. Or something really yummy and delicious. All these vegans talk about it as if it's like the best thing, bestest thing in the world. Green juice, green juice. Look, I'm drinking my green juice. I've got my green juice today. Yeah, oh, this is the life. Me and my green juice. It's all over over Instagram, it's all over YouTube, it's all over everywhere, socially, medially, it's everywhere, everybody looks like they're really healthy and shiny and pretty and beautiful because they're drinking that awful, awful, awful juice, Ugh. no one ever says it's awful, no one says it's awful, it is, it's like grass, I like grass, but no, it's like a lot of grass, a lot of grass in a glass, grass, Grass in a glass. They should just call it grass juice. Thea said, mm, me, me, th me, me, me's watched a video where they actually do that. They do. They, they, they drink grass. They, they, they do the juicer thing and then they drink it and it's just grass juice. Green grass, green juice, grass, whatever. I forgot what it's called, but it's grass. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Cherry said, oh gosh, it's awful. I'm going to have to, do I'm going to have to hold my nose. She held her nose and had another drink. Actually, when you hold your nose, it's not so bad. Have another go. Have another go, everybody. Have another go. Everybody else seemed to like it, except Cherry. Heidi said, I like it. It's really fresh. And the, ha the apple makes it kind of like, you know, it's a little bit sweet, a little bit green. I like it. I really like the ginger, said Heidi. <sighs> said Cherry. This is awful. This is really awful. I thought that I was going to have my green juice and I was going to get really bright eyes and I was going to get really, really pretty and really, really skinny and, and being a vegan was going to make me really popular. How am I going to do this? How am I going to live without tuna for this? This is like the bestest thing in the entire world. Supposedly, it's not all them vegans. I don't trust them anymore. What? If this is... If this is something they all brag about, drinking, then what's the food like? I bet it's just like a bowl of grass with a lemon. That's it. I bet that's it. I bet that's all they eat. They make it look like they don't. They make it look like they eat more than that. But, you know, you know what we need to do? We need to phone Cory because Cory's a vegan. She could tell us something nice that's not like this. Do you think? Heidi said, maybe tomorrow. We'll call her tomorrow and we'll ask her if she can share some of her recipes. And we'll ask her if she has any juice recipes that's really nice. Good idea, said Cherry. I'm really tired. I think I'm emotional and disappointed and upset. I think I need to lay down. I do, I need, but I do feel like I'm full of energy, I must admit. I've only had four glass, four, four mouthfuls, and I do feel a little bit springy, like my paws are a little bit lighter. And, uh, oh, my tummy feels like it could possibly be pooping any minute. Yeah, I see, it might actually work, you know. I might wake up tomorrow morning and be really, really beautiful. Even more beautiful than I am. 
All right, can we go to bed? Can we just leave all this and go to bed, please? Because I'm a little bit emotionally distraught and I'd like a love and a hug and a story and I'd like to just relax with my sisters and and then, and then, and, and, and then we'll call Corey tomorrow and find out what she does to be a vegan because this stuff just isn't what I expected. Cherry closed her eyes, snuggled down with Heidi and Vea. They all had little green moustaches from their green juice. Didn't take very long at all before they were fast asleep. Three little vegan cats for one night at least. The end. <laughs>